Okay, what was that right there? That's me with my new putting grip and releasing the putter head aggressively. And um, we're going to talk about that. I'm fixing to show you the grip. And um, it's kind of a strange looking grip. If you're looking from head on from the view that I just showed you, you're not going to notice that much. From the behind, you're not going to notice. You'll think, well, that's a pretty sound fundamental stroke putter heads releasing uh, it's in line with my forearm my eyes are just slightly inside the ball typical uh, fundamentals of putting the difference the ball position is right off my rear foot just like channel lock and the reason that I do that is because I know I can start the ball in the same direction every time and I have a much better chance of squaring the club face um, I've done many different putting methods. The last three years has been a journey for me when it comes to putting. I, I found my way with a channel like golf swing because the ball starts in the same direction every single time. That's what separates channel lock. Well, I started thinking, why not, why not do that with the putting? JH was a huge influence when it comes to this. I've watched a lot of his putting videos and uh, he's given different options that you can do with putting. Um, all I did was take his channel lock putting method and just take it a little bit step further for me. It just evolved a little bit further. And um, it was basically by how I grip the golf club. And it made it easier for me to lock that putter head into place and just have a really good release and a tight roll and start it in the same direction every time. Um, Anytime I moved the ball position around, I could not be consistent. I, I was an extremely streaky type putter. I'd have my days where I make them, and then there'd be days where I'd have really good ball striking days and not make anything. And there's nothing more frustrating for to get the ball striking part of your game to a high level and then not be able to finish on the greens. So I knew I had to do something about that, and I put a lot of work and a lot of thought. And... Um, when you see this grip, you're going to think, wow, this is a, you look like a 20 or 30 handicapper putting. But like I said before, from forwards and behind, it, it looks pretty solid fundamentally. And so I'm fixing to break down to you how I grip the golf club. And uh, I'm not saying this is for everybody. It can be um, something that can help you, though. And uh, it can help you be more consistent. You know, if you're somebody that's struggling with putting and you're not happy with the way you're putting, I think this is a pretty good way of, of dealing with that. Uh, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I've had excitement about other things I've worked on with putting, but it never lasted more than a few days. This thing that I'm doing right now is pretty, pretty solid. It's a pretty solid technique, and um, I'm getting I'm getting consistent results. And... Uh, now for the second part of this video, uh, we're gonna break it down and show you the grip. Okay, the uh, two major influences for, for this putting stroke and grip, uh, number one being JH, his channel lock method for putting. That was a huge influence. Um, the second person that influenced this is Tiger Woods, and it came from watching him uh, in his warm-ups, many, many of you guys have seen this, it's, it's no secret. You'll see him on the putting green with one hand, hand behind his back or in his pocket, and he's just rolling the ball with his right arm. Basically what he's doing is just this, okay? I love that part of um, uh, a putting stroke. That's what I want to have in my putting stroke. Um, so I was influenced by that. But the thing that I don't want, and you don't want with channel lock in a rear ball position putting, you don't want any type of travel with your arms, okay? You don't want a lot of travel with them. Uh, you do that, you're going to start hitting blocks, and um, you're not going to be able to release the putter face and uh, get the results you're looking for. So I look for ways to make it easier for me to still have that little bit of a roll feeling with my right hand. Because I think you can judge distance and everything a lot better by doing that. 
Uh, I don't want my arms separated from my body when I putt. I know there's a lot of methods that teach you to just swing your arms like this and rock them, rock your shoulders. Uh, that never really was consistent for me. I would leave the face open, close it down, cut across it, and I, I had a lot of issues with that. So what I want to do is lock this putter into place, okay? And uh, I'll call the stroke more of a, a pop type stroke. I, I'm never having a lot of travel in it. It's just that type of motion right there. And what I do is I'll take my hand. It actually goes, well, to start off, I, I put the club down. The club will set down naturally, and it'll be where I want to hit the ball. I'll have it lined up, and I do not manipulate this club in any form or fashion. I don't lay the handle down. I don't lift it up. I use that putter the way it's designed. And with this putting stroke, I've used a blade putter with a lot of toe hang. This has a quarter hang on my putter. I used a center balance. I tried with all these different putters, and every single one of them worked pretty good with it. I mean, they, they all perform well. Uh, so, okay, now let's show you the grip. All right, it's going to go in the lifeline of my hand. It's just fitting right in there. If you can see that part, it just goes right in there. And then the pad just goes right in there, okay? I'm gripping down to right here on my putter. I think I have, I think this is maybe a 34 inch putter. I'm gripping down to right there. And if you look, when I grip it, there's a void right there, okay? I'm not pushing that putter up against that. I suppose you could do that if you had a thicker grip, it would fill that void. But what I noticed is I can put my fingers right in there. Look at that. Look how they just butt up. Okay, and it turns into a split grip with a putter, which I've never been that big of a fan of a split grip. But what I was doing wrong before when I tried the split grip is I didn't have any cup in my wrist, and I would try to do like that. What I'm doing now, and this is the key to this putting grip, that cup, I just move my wrist back far as it'll go. That slides, it butts up right in the grip right there. And I, I lock that into place, okay? I have forces pushing inward with both arms. It's locked in place, okay? And what I've noticed, and what I love about this stroke, it don't matter how firm I grip it, uh, it, or how light, it really don't have much of an effect on my putting stroke. I've, I've experimented both ways. So I don't think I had to worry about getting the yips with this. Uh, all I had to concentrate on is releasing that putter head, okay? And uh, that's it right there. These, they're just pushing together. Uh, the thumb, if you look at it from there, okay, now, what do you do with your elbows? If you look from a side view, when I lay the club down, it goes in line with my forearm, okay? My elbow is just slightly touching my side, just like in my channel like golf swing, okay? That's another thing I like about it, with a rear ball, okay? This elbow is slightly touching my side, and it just drops down, okay? All right, like I said, from behind, the stroke looks really good from this way it looks really good but when you start looking at it like this you're gonna think I'm a 30 handicapper putting you're like what in the crap is he doing but I have to tell you it looks like I'm probably flipping with my putter but all I'm doing is just staying connected with my elbow and I'm just releasing the putter head like that and it returns square it's probably hard to see it from here that putter head just squares up beautifully. And uh, the key to this, this is a big, big part of it for me. All right, if this is the putter line that I'm putting down, okay, I never want this putter to travel outside that line, okay? I'm putting this way, I never want it to start that way. Okay, that's gonna cause issues. So, as long as your putt is straight back and through, or even if you have an arc in your putt, 
I actually feel like I'm trying to hook the putt. The more I'm with an inward path, the better I hit it. The only thing that will kill this is if you go outside or if you're really late in your release. And what I mean by late in your release, if you're somebody that has a lot of travel with your arms, you're not gonna be able to release the putter head. This stroke is a release of the putter head, okay? It's not a big flowing stroke, it's just a, that type, that type of motion right there. And uh, you can control your distance really well with this. And that putter face, man, it just it just squares up. You just never want the putter swinging out that way. Okay, if you look at it from this way down the line, this is something else that I do. All right, let's pretend this the putting line is going towards the camera. This is another line parallel to it. When I put my putter down on this line, I have an imaginary line which is this. And I never want that putter to cross that line. As long as I stay to the inside part of that line when I putt on both sides, it the ball just rolls end over end and uh, it's gonna go to my intended target. So, you know, just releasing the putter aggressively, you're gonna notice some good things. Uh, this is not like a Dave Stockton method where your wrist stays firm and you're trying to do the putter like that, like drag it like that, no. This is right the opposite, right there. As long as you maintain that cup, push it against your arm, and just roll the putter like that, uh, the stroke will work for you. So if you have any questions, feel free uh, to ask me, comment, anything you wanna do, and I'll, I'll be glad to answer your questions. I will say the first few times you do this, it's going to seem a little strange to you because you've never done like, done this. But after you get used to it, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. And you're, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So everybody have a good day and we'll catch you later.